Hey everybody, this is Frank and thanks for tuning in to RC Foam Fighters. Um, in a little bit we're going to go ahead and take a closer look at how the Foam Fighter Sparrow turned out. Um, it's finally finished, um, but first I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a closer look at how the rest of the build went. So let's go ahead and check out the build and then we'll get back to the finished plane. Okay guys, I gotta tell you, I'm pretty happy with the way the build turned out on this one. Um, it's time to go ahead and take a closer look. Okay, here we go. Um, I decided to go with the pretty bright color scheme on this one. Um, I think that the blue stripes on the yellow is going to stand out pretty good and help me keep orientation on this plane. Um, that was something that I was very concerned with, considering that it's probably going to be pretty fast. Um, like I said, I'm hoping to at least try and break 140 or 150 miles an hour with this plane. Um, hopefully with this, the new motor that I have on here, um, which is that Turnigy 1300 KV motor. And uh, if this motor isn't fast enough, um, I will be getting one of the 1600 watt motors to replace it. Um, that's why I got the bigger speed controller, um, just because I knew uh, eventually I'm going to want to upgrade to that 1600 watt motor. And um, this will give me the option of later if I want to try and go with a 6 cell as well. Um, as you can see, I did go ahead and shorten all the wires running from the motor to the ESC and from the ESC to the battery. Um, the cockpit is something that I made that's pretty different from what I normally do. Um, I did it from what I've seen on some videos on YouTube of guys making uh, different things out of soda bottles. Um, I actually made a wood plug and stuck a water bottle over it and shrunk it um, with the heat gun for the that we usually use for shrinking the monocoat and stuff like that um, it worked out fairly good um, for the first time I was surprised I was actually able to use it um, it actually let's go ahead and take a closer look at this alright um, the bottom portion of it is actually made out of balsa it's got a wooden base that goes all the way around it and you can kinda of see through it right now it's just the thin plastic from one of them um, little drinking water bottles that you get um, and basically what I did is I cut the bottom out and I made a wood plug to slip it over that was in the shape of this cockpit and I heat shrunk it with the heat gun um, and then afterwards I trimmed it to fit the wood base and glued it on um, I left the opening, opening in the back for the wires to go through and basically it just slips on over the top of the battery and the wires come in through the back so I'm um, thinking I'm liking the way that that worked out so I'm probably going to do a little bit of a video on it sometime a little bit later show you guys how it's done um, like I said I can't take credit for this um, I've seen quite a few guys on YouTube doing this and that's where I got the idea um, okay let's go ahead and get back to the, the rest of the plane okay now the cockpit's back on um, and basically it just slips on over the top of the battery um, I'm probably gonna just tape it on the first few times but eventually I'll either use velcro or magnets to hold it on permanently um, when I put the rear fins stabilizers on um, I decided to go ahead and make the angle more straight up and down um, because I found that when I did the second glide tests with them open more like a V-tail it was causing the plane to nose up when it slowed down at the very end right before it landed um, it was acting like it was tail heavy um, and I read on one of the forums on somebody that had a plane similar with the V-tail on the back and they were saying that the V-tail loses lift first before the main wing and that's what causes the plane to nose up so I'm gonna this is experimental I'm just gonna go ahead and try it with the rear stabilizers in a more upright position to hopefully get rid of that effect um, hopefully it works um, I'll probably do a little bit more glide testing later just to see before I go out um, the weather's supposed to be good this weekend um, we're looking at temperatures 
in the mid 40s for Sunday so we're probably going to be going out to Herman Airport and I'll hopefully get a maiden flight in with this plane and we'll be having some footage of it flying here pretty soon. Uh, thanks for watching RC Foam Fighters and I'll see you guys again soon.